Good morning, everyone. It's Mindy from the OG Sports Network coming to you live here with some NBA plays. A bunch of them. A 13 game slate. We haven't had that in a while. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed your evening. I definitely did. Got a lot of basketball in, good Mexican food and drinks. So we are ready to bring you some good ones here today. And of course, it's the big day, right? Who's going to win? South Carolina, Iowa, who you got? Uh, let me know in the comments. So make sure you guys like and subscribe there as well. Hey, if you guys are having any troubles at all with your sports picking, I know a place where you can go ahead and go. You can find us at the OG, well, I should say, OGcappers.com. It's our multi-capper site. Here we are. You can find all of the great handicappers out here. You can think of them as your sports investment advisors. Uh, you have folks like Ben and Jerry and CJ totally crushing it in the MLB. You got Hollywood Sam, <clears throat> goodness, and Steve out there getting it done in the NHL. Jerry and CJ over the last seven days are the hottest of the hot. Uh, so make sure you pick up some of their Major League Baseball packages here today. Just remember, all of those pick packages are profit guaranteed, meaning that if our cappers don't turn a profit, you get credits back to your account. Also, when you purchase, make sure you use the promo code OG20 at checkout to save you 20% because we want to make sure that we get more profits into your pockets. All right, but you guys are here for some more free plays, right? Here we go. Let's add them to the stage. 13 of them. So we'll try to get through this. It's going to be long. Well, not so long, right? <laughs> uh, but if this is your first time watching, hey, thanks for joining. And of course, uh, how this works is that I have an NBA model. That model I compare to the sports books, right? The opening lines. So I know where my picks go in contention with the lines. I feel like I'm struggling to get it out. I mean, I know what I want to say, but sometimes it just doesn't come out as such. Oh, goodness. But anyway, we find a confidence level in there between our variances and the spreads and the odds, and we know where we hit the most. That's pretty much the whole gist of it. We'll also give you a final score prediction, so you can go ahead and you know, take a look at some team totals. Or if I'm on a side, you can also take a look at the total there as well. All right. Enough of me blabbering. Let's get on with it. All right. We're going to go under the total in this Rockets and the Mavericks game here today. This one's coming in at about 225. No, 43. It's early. 109 plus 14. 9 plus 4 is 3. 223. So we got a little bit of variance there, but each of the Mavs last six home games have gone under this total as well. So 60%, 60.9% of the time, this play will be on the under where Vegas has set these lines with our modeling. Let's take it. Next up already, it's our VIP play of the day between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the LA Clippers. Big variance here. 72.5% of the time, this play will hit versus those Vegas lines. So if you want this play, make sure you go to ogcappers.com, pick out one of our VIP selections, and then make sure you use that promo code OG20 at checkout, which is exclusive to all of you guys watching these videos. All right. Next is going to be already... The text play of the day. It's going to be between the Miami Heat and the Indiana Pacers. 64% of the time, this is our second highest rated variance on the board. Uh, to get this play, all you got to do is text the word WIN, W-I-N, to 223-203-1821. And we can shoot this play off over to you, as well as our second best play in the NHL today. No college basketball. I mean, men's college basketball. So... We don't have three plays here today. All right. Trailblazers and Celtics. Let's take the Trailblazers and the Giant points. I mean, why not? I only have this a four-point <laughs> difference. Uh, I mean, it's hard to believe that the Celtics won't kind of probably put a whooping on the Trailblazers. But let's hope is we could get a backdoor cover here in this one. 59% of the time, when you're at a plus 17 at those odds with our variance, 
this is what will occur. All right, going over the total in the OKC versus my favorite team, the Charlotte Hornets. I say that lightly, but I'm going to go over the total. I have this one coming in at 225, so quite a bit of variance in that one. And you can see I have the Hornets winning this one outright. So we'll see if they can go ahead and get it done. But going over the total here with the Hornets, they are 14 and 6 to the over. Bulls, Magic, the underdog has covered the spread in each of the Bulls last six games. And look, who's the underdog? It's the Bulls. Uh, a kind of a low variance, but I do have the Bulls winning this one outright, 109 to 108. 50.6% of the time, the Bulls will cover in this situation. Now you can see this number is a little bit low. I like to, um, you know, really look at the ones that are 55% and above in the modeling. All right. The Wizards and the Raptors. Going to go here with the Wizards plus the four. Have them winning outright, 117 to 110. The Raptors, it's kind of like we're fading them. They have lost 15 of 16 and failed to cover the spread in each of their 11 last 11 games now. Uh, I don't like cover teams that don't cover the spread, so let's go with the Washington Wizards. All right. The Pelicans versus the Suns. I've already had some of you guys text me this morning, say you're on the Suns. I'm also going to be on the Suns here at minus 7. 54.2% of the time, this will be the play. I have it kind of modeled out right at that seven. But again, when we're working at EPA modeling, where we're looking at rolling averages and last five, I mean, we're all averaging. So we kind of squish the numbers with a lot of these big variances or spreads, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I like the Suns to cover today versus the Pelicans. The Suns have won 14 of 15 now, and the Suns have covered their spread in their last four. So getting it done, ATS. All right, it's the box. What do we think about the box? I mean, did that uh, coaching change help at all? I don't think so. Weren't they off to like some sort of like 13 and five start when he got fired? And now the Bucks can't even win when they're 14 point favorites. Kind of crazy. So I'll be on the Knicks getting the plus three and a half, 60.9% of the time. Do have the Knicks winning this 113 to 109. Bucks have lost five of their last six games now. And the Knicks have covered spreads in six of their last seven, especially after a loss. Let's go with the Knicks. 76ers versus the Spurs. Going to lay the points here with the 76ers. 50.6% uh, of the time, this will be the play. 76ers have won the last nine of 10 versus the Spurs. And they've covered the spread in their last six versus the Spurs there as well. So let's take the 76ers. Again, this one's a low percentage, so it's maybe something that you want to pass on. Uh, but again, if you like it, I like it. Model has them winning by the points. Let's take it. All right. Kings, Nets. Let's go over the total. Have this one coming in at 221, a little bit of variance there to get this one over 62.5% of the time. This will be the play. It's our largest variance on the board between the money line, the spread, and this total. Seven of the Nets' last eight home games on the second leg of a back-to-back -back have gone over the total now. So they're three and one on that back-to-back -back with the over. All right. The Jazz and the Warriors at home. Laying the 12 here, you guys. We're doing it. We're laying it 55.2% of the time. Have them, like I said, virtually covering as a tie, right, with that 12. But I always feel like with the modeling, we are squishing those numbers a little bit, right? So we're doing averages. So it's always going to bring them down. Like maybe one of those, like one of the model has them covering by 18. Another model has them covering right at 12. So it just starts to kind of squish that number down a little bit. But the Golden State Warriors have covered the spread in each of their last six games versus this spread. All right, let's take them. And last one today, Timberwolves, Lakers. I'm going to be on the underdog in this one 61.1% of the time. I got the T-Wolves here. 
Winning this one outright, 112 to 110. Timberwolves, they like to play as road underdogs. They're four and one in their last five. So let's take the Timberwolves. All right. That is all we have for today. Good luck with your picks. Again, if you need any help at all and you want to tail some folks with their best of the best, I mean, a lot of these guys put in a lot of hard work. So if you guys don't have the time, I know a place where you can be ogcappers.com. Use that promo code OG20 at checkout. Also, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get the latest notifications. Also, make sure you check out Bo's NBA video series, which we have up right now. So you can check that out to see if me and Bo match, if we get a little bit of consensus, uh, but he does great work. So make sure you go ahead and check those videos out. All right, you guys. Hey, I will catch you later. Um, there's also an NHL video if you're interested. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye.